sorry nothing is appearing is an x document okay my collection is comments so i'll gonna write these lines for iv your comment just with the help of copy paste i added all these things here for the name i'll say item dot descendants what descendant name dot first dot value dot two strings so it will uh, get the name attribute name node from the database and copy it over here and same for the email and same for the message name email message okay that's gonna work i guess uh, closing the file clearing the fields on the web page what are the fields text name dot text should be equal to null text email dot text should be equal to null and text message dot text should be equal sorry text should be equal to null and data list one dot data bind so that new data should be shown on the list okay save it and just run it okay i'm saying user saying user at the date of hotmail.com this is a programmed command okay post it so could not find the c program files x comma maxo share dev network xml data file exactly the file is stored in our server not local directory so i'll just say it's not here map it with the hello server dot map path and it's located at the root of my website and same for the here server dot map path and that's it refresh it after saving resend the data post data and see the comment is here showing up here and if i look over the okay it's saying database example file is updated a mouse modified outside the source editor do you want to reload it yes to all and now you can see here is the latest comment by the user and here are the over commands uh, and the database file is updated like i'll post another comment name it um, george george at the date of red mail dot com this is second program comment post it's posted okay reloaded at xml file and you can see the george is here that is the part one where we can retrieve the data from the xml file using the xml data source and post the data to the xml source with the help of a little code opening the xml file writing it for new this is the crucial line where we are storing all the existing code in the command variable and here is writing our co latest command which is posted by the user coming from the text fields to the file and adding all over commands which are as which are getting as it is from the descendants of the name email and messages and writing that is closing the file and clearing the fields and refreshing the data source so that the new command should appear on the screen that's the part one in the part two i'll discuss the admin feature of this website so that you can modify update or delete any record from this xml and so on thank you for watching goodbye hello there this is the second part where we will add the admin features to the yes book websites 
first of all we need two classes here the first class will be the property class I will say class and name it comment okay you are tempted to add a special file class to run asp.net put in the app underscore code folder okay yes go ahead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add few properties here prop property would be a string mm, the property name is name for the holding the name second property is also a string and would be holding email and last property is a string to and it's a it's holding message okay save it second thing is for a class which is having the admin functions okay here we will write our admin function the first function would be a public function a public static function uh, okay uh, it would be not static first of all I will uh, show the return type return would be a list of comments and name it show all commands it will take nothing and it will return a list of comments so what's it that is uh, not all code by the return already okay first of all creating a new list of comments and name it list comments is equals to new list of Commands. The second thing is using system dot xml dot link and using system dot xml dot io. Same thing. Gonna uh, load the document. X document dog equals to x document dot load so here I will not be getting a server dot map I'll say request HTTP request sorry uh, HTTP response no what is the property to get the server map path HTTP context HTTP context dot current dot request dot map path so the server yeah current dot server dot map path da database dot XML okay var comments is equals to from item in dog dot descendants uh, comments mm. select item okay my all comments are in the comments variable I'll have to enrich this, this list and return it what I'm gonna do is a loop for each item in comments creating a new comment comment temp command equals to new comment temp comment dot name is equals to item dot descendants name dot first dot value dot to string so same is for the 
email and message message and email and add this com temp command to the list list commands dot add temp command and the last return list command ok what I'm gonna do is creating a new blank list opening the XML file reading all commands and put them in the commands folder iterating the commands item by item and adding a new command each time set its property and add that temp command to the list here and in the last returning the command list okay that's good that's cool now what I'm gonna do is adding a new web page called admin name it admin uh, what I'm gonna say admin panel and this would be a heading one <laughs> what I'm gonna drag here now is a grid view because the grid view gonna have all the function like update or delete or something so for data new data source now this time it's not XML file this will be an object data source okay where it will get object it will let me say choose why it's not showing the objects here let me save and build the solution okay the errors are in there in the admin function so what it's gonna say this function is closing here and this is class this is function and this is probably class what's the error expected where Oh sorry, these properties should be out of the constructor. And similarly these function this function should be the out of our constructor functions. My mistake. Build solution. So the build is complete. Now it's gonna show my sources. Just reconfigure it. Here admin functions. I'm gonna use the method show all commands and okay okay finish that's it for now save and load the admin dot svfx so here you can see name email and message is showing up here and there is only one there is only one message that's not possible I have all the money message here so what is the mistake uh, okay let's go to the function so I am saying the descendant should be the commands not the commands it should be a single command so that it will iterate each command not the main okay let's refresh it Ah, that's it I'm getting all the 